Welcome back to Therapy Thursday. Today we're gonna to embark on a three-part series on one of the most common conditions we see in clinic, Achilles tendonitis. Now there's been a lot of changes in terms to, of the research for rehab on this condition over the past one to two years. In fact, researchers don't even like us calling it a tendonitis anymore. They want all tendon injuries referred to as tendinopathies because imaging studies do not correlate well with a person's pain. You could be in a ton of pain and have no findings on imaging or vice versa. The one consistent thing that we do know is load is the key to rehab. These next three blogs are going to address this issue. The majority of the research on isometric training for tendinopathy is to do with the patellar tendon or jumper's knee and it's done on an isokinetic knee extension machine seen here. We have found that a lot of the defining principles from this research are transferable to other tendons like the Achilles. The following are a number of different variations of isometric holds that you can use to try to load your Achilles tendon. We will go through exercise prescription in a moment, however it is important to note that researchers do suggest avoiding both end range flexion and extension of a tendon to avoid compression. In practice, however, we tend to allow a little bit of end range movement because that is an important range for the tendon to adapt to. The prior videos showed two leg plantar flexion angles for the Achilles tendon to load isometrically. Now Dave is showing you some one leg variations of similar exercises. While the majority of the research is done on a single angle done repetitively, we like to vary the angle as seen in the different exercises detailed above. In regards to exercise prescription, the typical is five rounds of 45 seconds with roughly a two minute break in between each set. This has been shown to bring down pain levels substantially to the point that you can load a tendon that is otherwise unable to load due to pain. By performing this daily, you create a form of active analgesia. Here is the exercise prescription as laid out in the literature. However, as always, you should consult your therapist to determine if this type of rehab is correct for your particular condition.